Hey folks, what's going on? It's Price is Wrong uh, with Battle Vortex, and I'm getting ready to play some Elite Dangerous. All right. Well, that's my new dropship right there, guys. I just got my federal dropship yesterday. I've been using it like crazy today. Uh, really, all I've been doing with it, quite honestly, so far is just transporting uh, garrison supplies. And um, so, and I actually have a full load now. So, so I'm going to be going ahead and. Uh, Dropping off another load of garrison supplies, and then I need to do some bounty hunting, bounty hunting or bulletin board missions or something, because I have no credits. All right, I got like two million credits, and that's not enough. Not enough. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, I'm sure this is somebody saying, "Hey, your power needs your help." All right. Let's take a look in here. I believe I got a full load already, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, cargo space, I'm uh, completely bat full there. You gotta look at the bulletin board just to see if I can donate anything. And then I'm gonna find a, uh, find a system to go drop off my garrison supplies. All right, charity begins in Nanomam. This is the Nanomam future movement. Just got to make sure that, uh, oh, they're allied, federally allied, so I'll go ahead and accept that one. Now, um, if we, we, a kind of recent discovery is basically if you want to do rank progression, uh, if you're looking to rank up, this is the quickest way to knock out a bulletin board mission. And that's basically what is required for rank is to uh, complete bulletin board missions. So this right here, bam, right there, okay? So you do enough of those, and you'll get rank progression opportunities. I don't like how broke this is making me. But uh, now that just put me under uh, 2 million. And uh, I don't think that's going to hurt my buyback. Okay, my buyback is 1.3, so I'm in good shape. Hey, Josh, I'm uh, going to go drop off some garrison supplies, man. Um, I guess what I need to do here is go ahead and find a place that requires fortifying that is not at 100% yet. So let me go do that real quick. So this guy here is only at 17%, so there's a lot going on there. Don't have to worry about this one anymore. Don't need to worry about this one anymore. When both sides are over 100%, it's canceled. There's nothing else you can do in that particular system. So um, as far as power play goes... Um, now this one right here has been uh, undermined to crap. Okay. Now if if we don't get the fortification done to cancel out the undermining, uh, the command capital cost is going to be 71 CCs. Okay. Um, if we manage to get it canceled, then it's going to stay at 31 command capital. So uh, that's really the best that we can hope for at this particular point. Um, some of these other ones, 29%, 19%, canceled, canceled. I love seeing these. I'm not. Gonna, I got to tell you, I love seeing these that are canceled. I mean, the fortifying is awesome, like this guy right here, as long as it doesn't get undermined or we're, we're golden. But um, uh, the canceled means that I, I know I, it's not anything that I have to worry about. Wow, this one right here has got one. I'm basically going uh, to... I, I want to go... Um, um, Look at an under threat one like this one right here, 58.6 light years out. Something like these is kind of what I'm looking for. But the fact that I'm seeing canceled systems means that there's people out there that are actually working appropriately. So. Uh, as far as the power play is concerned. Uh, that I really, really like. Really, really like that. Now, uh, if undermine, cost of undermine, uh, 133, those are probably the ones that we should be focusing on the most. 
Oh man, you know, I have enough money saved up where I actually have, um, I have to decide what I'm going to buy, okay? And this is kind of tough, it's because um, Elite Dangerous has got a uh, an expansion pack coming out called Horizons, okay? And that, that will have Planetary Landing on it. Now, you can... Get by the early beta if you want. It costs a little bit more, but there's also a uh, like a lifetime expansion pack thing that you can get. That's about 200 bucks, okay? And that has Elite Dangerous. It has all of the betas and all the expansion packs that'll ever come out are, are included. And um, so it, there's there's that. So do I spend my money on that or do I get my new joystick? My new joystick. I, I don't know. My new joystick is going to cost me about 150, 160 bucks. But um, um, I do have enough to go ahead and get that expansion pack now saved up. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I, maybe I should just go ahead and do that. Hmm. Why do these all say control systems? Let me look at turmoil. I gotta swear I sent five two SETI. Uh, 1952 SETI. 1952 SETI. Now, it's currently in turmoil. Mambo Jazz. Okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, well, it, it, it does work. The joystick I have is, does work. Uh, sometimes I have to press the button a few times to get it to work. But, um, you know, I'm just saying it's a little wore out. Uh, my, my joystick is probably... Uh, it's probably a good uh, eight years old or more. Did I change the title? Oh, darn it. No, I didn't. Man, thank you for saying something. Let me see here. I actually don't even have Twitch loaded, uh, other than the chat, so let me uh, do that real quick. Thanks, Joel. Ugh. I always forget to do that, man. All right, now it's changed. It's changed now. Thanks for that. All right, so uh, let me see, where was I? I guess I'm just gonna go to this one, Abby. View a map. I got me, uh, let me make sure that I've got it set for fastest route. Wow, that was drastic. It's a lot of jump still. But I guess I'm laden, so. Which really just means that I got a lot of, uh, got a lot of stuff in there. Oh, I, my cargo capacity's at full, so. Means I'm laden, I guess. Let me out. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Do you have
All right, hop on. Alright, now, right now, I'm, uh, I can scoop at about 176 as my max. Uh, it's because I downgraded my fuel scoop yesterday right after I bought this thing. I had a 5 on it, and now it's a 3. But anyway, um, I know you, if you don't play the game, you don't really know what that means. But um, when you're doing, uh, when you're when you're traveling, it's always best to travel with a full tank. Okay, so if you have a chance to get fuel, don't pass it. All right, gotta watch my heat. I'm about full, but definitely gotta watch my heat too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. Hey, good night, Joel. Take care, bud. Yeah, I haven't got this one here completely decked out yet. Um, this particular ship's not completely decked out yet. And um, so there's there's a few things that I can do to it to try to help it out. Um, basically, when, when you... Um, let me see. I know there's a class, and then there's... Uh, which is, has to do with the size. But there's another thing on your components. There's the uh, I, I'm trying to remember what the A's, B's, and C's are. But uh, when you with the closer you get to A, um, is, is, has to do with the quality. Okay, and then as far as heat and all that stuff goes, it helps out a lot. Getting a specking your uh, your hull, I guess, is what the term a lot of people are using. A specking. Do you see what this uh, ship looks like on the outside yet, Josh? Okay, cool. Fuel scooping. Dang, man, if I had a good scanner on, man, ain't no telling. Yeah, because there's definitely a lot of missing crap out here.
Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. Man, I didn't realize I was going to hit so many skippable stars on the way in. It's awesome. When your computer calculates the route, when you select economical route or fast route, uh, your computer never intentionally leaves you stranded without fuel. Okay, it, it's never intentional, and um, generally, if when it's when it uh, sets a route for you as long as you're con consistently topping off your fuel like this you should never run out of fuel okay it's only when you start passing scoopable stars that you start having problems with fuel or if you take off without a full tank that your computer is trying to look out for you I mean the computer on these games on this game is pretty smart your ship computer I like the the window in this too. I, I like that it looks like. Uh, Fuel scooping. Ooh, nice. I like that you know it's got like the two uh, little, I guess things that come out the the, the parts parts of the frame, and then it's supposed to be like one big giant smooth window that goes all the way around. I think that's all really cool. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameship drive charging. Every star's been skip away, it's pretty sweet. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. No, uh, uh no. This is just the one time because I've been loading up this ship with garrison supplies, and you can't jump out of a ship that has cargo. Uh, if you have cargo in your ship, you, you're kind of stuck with it. So I have to get rid of my cargo before I can uh, switch to another different ship. So as soon as I, I drop this off, I'm gonna go get my vulture and I'm gonna start doing some uh, bounty hunting or something. Bullets on board mission. Oh crap! I'm going too fast. Crap! 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 Let's see if I can fix this. Nope, I can't fix them. I think I'm going too fast. Yeah, I was going too fast. Okay, 
let's go towards the planet and then uh, from the planet I can start going towards the system or the, uh, the, the station and then I should come out close to the entrance Yeah, I got, I got, I got guns on here already, but I, I, uh, you know, it's funny because I got tons of power too, and um, so I don't know, man. I, I think maybe the the guns that I have on here, um, you know, maybe I, I just got too many, because I got, I got tons of power, so I don't, I don't know what I gotta do. This ship might be good for trade routes and all that stuff. That crap's really boring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world? Up, up, up. Scan detected. Yeah, no kidding. All right, I don't know what the heck happened there. Uh, it's like I hit all stop. Oh, I'm trying, trying to use my thrusters. There we go. All right, going to 41, 41. Where the heck is 41? All right, it's right here. Well, it seems like a lot of people get really good at trading to get credits. Uh, they do trading uh, to get a lot of quick credits quickly. Uh, it's not very fun, though. It's actually pretty boring. Um, but, you know, if you're okay with boring, then it's all good, man. Alright, so Garrison, I got 120 here for you, buddy. A lot of times it's a really good idea too. I would I would imagine I don't know this for sure, but to check your number right here. I mean, uh, basically 100% is 6,090, and right now we're at 2,473. So I know I'm not wasting my 120 that I'm giving this guy. All right, and then I get a little bit of pay for it, but not much, not enough in my opinion. Back just over two million though. Need food. I don't feel like getting food for you. All right. So it looks like I'm just going to head on back to Nana, ma'am. Get my my other ship. Ship released. Engines engaged. Nope, I, I don't do that. Need. Sorry about the spinning, guys. I apologize. I know people don't like that. I, I've, I've been having a, this little bit of an OCD thing here lately about putting my uh, green, making sure green's on the right. And um, I'll try not to do that again. And this is one of those games that can give make people motion sickness, so. Drive charging. 
Yeah, trade routes. Uh, a lot of, there's a lot of people who do trading that seem like they can get a lot of credits pretty quickly. Um, I've only done a trade route one time and I wasn't that successful at it. But um, I don't think I had the patience that a lot of people seem to have. Sometimes you, when you're going around and you're buying stuff from the commodities uh, store or whatever, I don't know if you want to call it a commodity store, but from the commodities you buy stuff at one station, sometimes you, you want to, um, they got to like reload or whatever so you can buy more. You know, they got to like reload the store or whatever so you can buy more. And I, I don't do that. I'm like, I'll take everything you got, and then I'll go to the next station. Fuel skip disengaged. Friendship drive charging. Sometimes when I go really slow like this, I feel like the sun is spinning faster than I'm moving. And it probably is. I just feel like I'm going backwards, even though I'm actually going 30 kilometers a second. You know, I heard about these DX Racer gaming chairs. Fear, I don't know if you're still on here. You ever heard, thought about getting those? I mean, are they supposed to be good for like long, uh, like marathon type uh, gaming uh, things? It's called a DX Racer. It's a gaming chair. I see a lot of other streamers have them. DX Racer. Yeah, they do look cool. But I don't know. A lot of the people I see have them. They definitely look like they make a living streaming on Twitch. And I say they look like it is because they're generally, you know, they have the whole the subscription thing underneath where you can pay for the subscription. And uh, they generally have like triple digit viewers all the time. And the chats are moving so fast with uh, um, troll garbage, you know what I mean, that, you know, nothing you could say would ever be heard. I can only imagine what their message boxes, boxes look like. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Hold on a second. I'll fix that. All right, let's see here. All right, sorry about that. Thank you for pointing that out, Josh. Appreciate that. Friendship drive charging. Yeah, I looked into them. They're a couple hundred dollars a chair, man. They're not cheap. Like $230 a chair. Heck, man, I just want to get a microphone like you, man, so I'll, uh, I'll look pro. I, I, I want to look pro. 
I think maybe if I start dressing for success, I'll be more successful. What do you think? And a bomb. Yeah, I'd like to get one of them cool mics like you got, man, with the boom, you know, where I can just like bring it in and drop it down. I mean, what we got going on though is, is quite functional. Heck, the green screen is a big deal. Gotta get some fuel. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that kind of money just yet, man. I uh, I just got enough money where I'm I'm trying to decide between my joystick for Elite Dangerous or that big pack, you know. And I'm kind of leaning towards that big pack at the moment, to be honest with you. So still no joystick. Warning. Taking heat damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me fuel. I didn't, the fifth, you know, I haven't even looked into the $50 Thrustmaster HOTUS. I, I was talking about the SciTech X52 is the one that I was looking at. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll look at the Thrustmaster. Is that what you got, Battle Vortex? Or Fear? It's like, it's freaking butt joystick. It's the buttons are so wore out that sometimes you, you click a button and you think you got it, but you really don't.
Alright. ADH. Okay, well, I'll, I'll look into it. Uh, it's not one that I'd even considered. It wasn't on my list um, at all. So, yeah, I'll look into it. I mean, do you, do you like that one? Do you feel, feel that it's adequate? Gotta fix my paint since I'm putting it up. Well, uh, let's see here. Times are hard. Oh my god. Oh, that's the Crimson Clan though. I don't I don't help Crimson Clan. Alright, so shipyard it is. Stored ships. Uh you know what? I should actually buy one. Uh no, never mind that. I just go to stored ships. All right, let's get some bullets and board missions, or we'll go do some. I could go do some undermining, but I need credits, man. I need credits more than I need merits right now. I need a lot of credits. Yeah, okay, well, I'm definitely going to look into that one. Heck, if it's a lot cheaper and I can afford to do two things, not get two things off my list, that'd be great. That would be awesome. All right, so first thing, I guess I'll go straight look at the bullet board again. See if I got anything, somebody I can go kill for lots of credits, or I, either that or I just go bounty hunting somewhere. Safe trade routes, that's life systems too. Uh, that is in Boat Daddy. Uh, and life systems is, I believe, should be, uh, the, the, yep, Federation Ally right there. So I go ahead and I'll take that one in Boat Daddy. And maybe I'll get lucky and this limited one up here will be the same thing. Yep, it is. Look at that. So that just means for every pirate I kill will actually count towards both missions. And um, all right, that's going to Tolan. I'm not going to Tolan. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when I was looking at the SciTech, the reason why I liked it is because it had a lot more, uh, the hat switches, the little POV switches, or I don't know what else you call them, but it had a couple of those. And I, it just seemed like, um, it seemed really nice. And um, and that, that was my big thing. All right. So let me see. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go on over there. Go into Bull Daddy. I am due, owed some money on LHS 215, but uh, maybe some other time. Let's see, Bo Daddy. I'm just going to go there and hunt for some mission targets. Yeah. <clears throat> well, stuff like controlling the, uh, the, the little power, oh, sorry, power things all the way over there, um, you know, I thought it would be potentially really awesome, you know. I don't know. There was a couple of uses, I remember. I mean, I've kind of gotten used to my joystick now, so maybe Thrustmaster wouldn't be so bad. Alright, I'm a hot dog, right? So here we go. Woo! That was awesome right there, man. I zoomed right the heck out of there. Not everybody can do that. Some people will trash their ships by doing that. I ought to set the whole inside of that station on fire, Ron. Huh? 
I can only do that in my vulture. I can't do that in other ships. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking about was thrusters, but I know with the HOTUS joystick, uh, you, you, you do, you got your throttle controller. I mean, I would imagine you'd probably control all your thrusters over there. Um, I mean, I'm not really familiar with it at all, so I, I can't say for sure, but. Let me hunt this guy real quick. The heck's this guy at the sun? There he is. Yep, mission target. Come here, you. Fuel skip disengaged. Well, it's going to take a while, man, going straight for the Anaconda. I'm, I'm technically still going straight for the Anaconda. <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know, man. You got to learn the ropes and all that, man. If you die in an Anaconda, golly, man, the buyback cost on that, you'd end up quitting the game, rage quitting the game if you lost your Anaconda. Just because there was something that you didn't know, because you didn't bother to try to learn the game before you, you got it, you know. But your call, man. Obviously, it's ultimately your call. So, Oops. trying to slow us down here. Well, obviously, there's no way I can slow us down. Said he's gonna pick my bones clean. He didn't he knows he's in the sidewater. Who the heck's he think he's talking to? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, too late. Boom! Target destroyed. Yeah, you definitely always want to make sure you got your buyback cost. And the buyback cost of Anaconda man is no joke. No joke. Um, we did a uh, podcast today, Josh, uh, for Elite Dangerous. We had a guy on there um, that uh, it was kind of an impressive individual. I think his name was like, uh, I know it was like a girl's name. It was like Commander Eleanor or something like that. But anyway, um, he, uh, he trades all the time and he... Uh, he, he does it so he can afford to give away junk. Shield of Justice, you're not my target. Oh, he is a target. Oh, I'm sorry. He's a ALD. That's a Luvini Duval. Sorry. But he does a crap ton of trading, you know, and he gives away so much stuff. He actually gives away, like, calls and all kinds of junk. This Christmas, he says he's giving away an anaconda for Christmas. Uh, Fear, what's yours called? The sweeping something or other? Sweeping snag, that's what you call it. So, sweeping snare is open, right? <laughs> oh, no, ma'am, I did not. Oh, he shot back at me.
he's dropping junk. What's he dropping? Limpets. Alright, so that's one of my things. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you know, uh, in Battle Pirates, when people like uh, go out and they snipe their fleets with snipe fleets with their subs, and the whole reason they do it is because they're um, they like the idea of costing you money, correct? People hunt anacondas for the same reason. But quite honestly, yeah, you don't have to play in open if you don't want to. Um, you can play in a uh, private group or you can play in uh, a solo, either one. Hey, you, come here. I'm trying to shoot you. Wow, how was that? Boom! Boom! That was awesome. And it's got to be like the fastest I ever killed a cobra. My flame shift drive's not even frame, uh, frame shift drive's not even cool yet. Frame shift drive charging. Tech. Oh, it's not even in here. I got it. Alright, contacts. Alright, so this one here, I still got three more to get. Oh, that figures. All right, I got a mission target, so uh, I'm going to try to evade this interdiction. Things are kind of hard to hold on to sometimes, but there we go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um. 
think he's jealous of my chrome paint job. What do you guys think? Oh. some conversation going on over there what y'all talking about oh there's community goal Yeah, right. <laughs> uh huh. Petraeus Sentinel. And he's a mission target. Oh, yeah. Come here, you. I am behind the target. There we go. Alright. Throttle is off. 0% throttle. Just got to keep him in the center of, of my screen. It's like an arm wrestling contest. All right, there we go. Oh, he's scanning me. Nice, go ahead and turn. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see was your belly. That's funny, Fear. <laughs> she would bake cookies? That sounds really good. <laughs> man, I had a bad itch on my back, man. I had to take care of that. Alright, let's see my transactions. Oh, must still have another one. Yep, still got another one. Oops. Uh, jump. Cookies sound really good. Mission target. Now 
Now I'm not wanted here, so I assume all of there's a bounty for all of these guys here. So I probably got transactions. I could probably claim some credits here. Uh, most of these guys have been saying lawless, but nobody's saying wanted. Checking stuff. He's a freaking litter bug. Target destroyed. Food cartridges, power generators. Let's go to Chadwick. And see what. Uh, see if I can go in there. Actually, I should probably just check transactions, right? No, I actually don't see any extra bounties down there for. Oh well. Guess I'll just go back to uh, Nanomam then. Yeah, my wife is kind of on me. She uh, came out here to let me know it was after 2. So I think she's trying to make sure I get up at a decent hour tomorrow. Because I didn't really do to, to get a job of that today. You know what, my, uh, uh, you know, my wife wants attention, man. It's like, you know, I, I definitely need to give it to her. She does a really good job um, keeping the house together and all that stuff. You know, that's where our lines are in our house. You know what I mean? As far as, you know, I'm, I, I'm the one who goes out and gets all stressed out because of work and all that. She doesn't work. She stays home, but it's still work, right? She just doesn't get a paycheck other than what she gets as an allowance. You know what? I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'm I'm zero throttle and submitting to this fool. Power plant capacity exceeded. Power plant capacity exceeded. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Look at this guy. He's mad about something. I can tell, but see this butt hurts getting him into trouble. His mouth is writing a check that his backside can't cash. I, I know I screwed that line all up, man. I was trying to remember that line. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, man. Boom! Take that, sucker! Alright, next. Go ahead, somebody else interdict me. Go ahead.
Man, I just heard a ship blow by, but... Stuff like that always freaks me out, because I, I always... I, I kind of, you know, envision, I, I can see, you know, you know how you, you get, like, planes crash sometimes in the sky, right? Even though there's so much space out there. But can you imagine crashing into somebody going, like, faster than light speed? I mean, how would that be for nuts? Now, I won't go in like I come out of these things. I won't just shoot out. I, uh... Or zoom, zoom, zoom. Going to 16. I'm getting off, guys. It's a little bit of extra money. Not enough to where I feel I can go shopping or anything. But. Yay. Ooh. 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 A celebrity contract. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm. 19 hours and 29 minutes. I'll go ahead and sign up for that guy. And I just worry about taking care of him tomorrow. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and go to bed. Um, go hang out with the wife, whatever. Anyway, uh, folks, I apologize for the short stream. It's only been like an hour and five minutes. Uh, sorry for that. But uh, got to take care of the wifey. Y'all have a, uh, a good evening. Let me do shout outs real quick. We got uh, Battle War Texas on here for your DH397, G Daddy D, and Only Fun. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one. The price is wrong, bitch.